We're going to use a T25 Torx bit to remove this screw and this screw on the driver's side upper grill panel. Once we remove those, we're going to repeat for the other side. Using our T25 Torx bits, you can want to go ahead and remove a series of these Torx bit screws on the inside of the fender well liner. There should be five of them. Ours is missing just a couple of them here. And then there's a fifth one up facing upward. So let's start at the bottom and get these removed. Repeat for the other side. Underneath the bumper, we're going to go ahead and remove a series of these T25 screws. There should be one here. We're missing one there. Get that one beside it. Move right across the front. I'm going to go ahead and grab the bumper, pull it away from the fender. As we do that, I'm going to work our way around towards the middle. Do the same for the driver's side. Go ahead and pull the whole bumper with the grill straight forward. Using a T30 Torx bit, we're going to go ahead and remove the screws holding the headlamp. Grab the headlamp. Go ahead and work that out. Down on the lower side, inboard part of the lamp is a connector. I'm going to use a flathead mini screwdriver or pry tool. I'm pressing right here. Pull that connector off. Take the factory harness, line that back up. Press it on until you hear it click. You go ahead and install the headlamp by just lining that back up into the body. Now lining up the headlight. Take your insert, pop that down into the light. Go ahead and start the screw by hand. Repeat for the one beside it. Install our rearward mounted bolt. I'm going to try and spin that down as far as I can. Now that we have all four of the mounting bolts in place, let's go ahead and snug them down. Let's go ahead and grab the bumper. There's a point where it can at least go ahead and hang the bumper. Line this up and get our screws hand started here. Once we get these four screws hand started, we're going to go ahead and clip the bumper onto the fenders. Line up the bumper with the tabs on the fender. and get that popped in. Repeat for the driver's side. Now let's secure the four screws on the top of the grill. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put our screw up in from our bumper into the fender.
install our upper liner screw. And we'll go ahead and finish up with the rest of our screws. Once we're done here, we'll go ahead and repeat for the driver's side. We're gonna install our screws across the bottom of the bumper. Once you do this here, go ahead and repeat for the rest. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're gonna see where your low beam is, and you'll see a little dot right in the center. And that is the axis point, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark that with an erasable marker, just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just gonna pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm gonna put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're gonna start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're gonna go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're gonna cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're gonna see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're gonna adjust the headlight beam. Now we're gonna lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up, and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is gonna be the same. You're gonna find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.